Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and I'm going to talk to you today, today about uh, wall hangers. <laughs> Exciting stuff, right? Um, in case you're new to the channel, uh, you might not know, a few months ago, well, back in July, right before Summer Nam in Nashville, I had a terrible instance where uh, a guitar fell off my wall while I was preparing to film a little video. So I caught it all on camera, here it is. Here it is in slow motion. Here it's uh, slower, again. Yep. Yep, that hurts. It hurts. It hurts to watch, but uh, Hercules saw the video and they were like, uh, hey, you want some hangers? And I was like, absolutely. So they have graciously donated. Basically, I'm going to a uh, bunch of hangers. I'm going to refit my entire uh, office with Hercules hangers and stands. And that includes my little mandolin over there and uh they even threw in so, some extra extra buddies so let's go talk about everything that i have um and then i'm going to film the process uh, obviously i'm going to take a lot of stuff off the walls i'm not going to remove the shelves i do think the shelves are sturdy uh enough like the failure was the hanger it really was i checked the i checked the shelves for for faults pretty constantly i feel pretty good about those here's the first thing i want to talk about I got one of these, and I've been using it for a couple of days. It is one of their dual stands. Uh, I just got the dual, not the tri. And just having it right there, right next to me, is so great. Like the guitars are hanging, uh, then the weight pulls in, clamps them together. Really, really secure feeling. I can even put Telecasters in here. Uh, I don't feel like they're going going to slip off or fall. I, I just am not worried about them uh, at all. So that that's phenomenal. I feel I feel fantastic about it. Um, so I'll have something there uh, if I find myself having a little bit of like writer's block because I write professionally. I'll you know stop, pause my timer or whatever, uh, pick up a guitar and. Um, clear my head a little bit and I find myself playing a little bit more which is great because sometimes when your guitars are like a little bit too far away from you you're not you're just gonna do whatever is easiest to do so if this thing is an arm reach sometimes if that's your phone you're gonna screw around on your phone I'd rather you know do something that feels a little bit more robust as for setting up it was pretty easy kind of intuitive um, it even has these little bumpers here that can go up or down that kind of push against the bottom. Uh, it's pretty easy, as you can see, to adjust for the height of your, your instrument. You can have it as tall or as short as you want it. I have mine a little bit on the tall side. I have a standing desk, which is why I do. I keep pushing the button with my hand. So it's, it's, it's a really easy, you don't have to really like have a lot of grip strength to use it, which I personally like a lot. So I have it pretty much, that's as tall as it goes. Um, so I, I don't have it quite as tall as it goes. I have it in the middle. I feel like it has a lot of range. It was pretty easy to set up. I was happy with it. Um, but let's see, let's see what else they sent. Here's my little ukulele hanger. So it has a, a smaller, let's take it out of the box here. Cause the box is so shiny. Has a nice wooden base. Move for the other camera. Nice wooden base. Looks handsome to me. So you can even tell you which end is up. A lot of the cheaper hangers I've seen don't do that. So it comes with instructions. And, and um, I will go straight into a stud, so 
I actually, I'm pretty sure I'd go straight into a stud on this one, but uh, they're drywall anchors. Instructions. Insulation for brick wall. Interesting. So yeah. All right, so I have one, one ukulele hanger. I also asked for, because I want to get more guitars on walls even though I had a rough experience, but um, there's a clearance issue because obviously you want to get past the hangers. The necks go past the hangers just perfectly well, but um, the bodies don't. So I'll show up, I'll try to remember to get a picture. So I want to try out a couple of these. And I wasn't sure if they would go out too far, but they are long. I feel like having a bunch of them would be too long, but they also swivel. You would have to loosen it, I think, a little bit to get it to swivel more, but um, they, they can swivel so you can have it kind of at an angle. Move this guy over. So you can see the bolt, swivel action. And then, of course, weight goes, guitar goes in, clamp, clamp. So I'm gonna have a couple guitars over there now. So that's gonna be even more guitars off the floor, which is great, I'm excited. Uh, and this, of course, also came with mounting instructions. And um, the next thing I got was a bunch of standard wall hangers. This is what I'm most excited about. These, I cannot expect would fail me. More of those little rubber arm things. Yes, the attached Nina. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's not what I was for. Nina, Nero instrument neck adjustment are specific specially designed to increase the thickness of the arms to accommodate narrow necked instruments. Oh, so that would, uh, sounds like it would be, it says banjos and mandolins, and I bet it would uh, include my tenor guitar. Nice. So here we have, again, it says up. Fantastic. Beep. Looks great. Pull to lock it in. There we go. Looks great. Looks like it'll do the job. Oh, I wonder if the screws are aligned with the ones I already have. Selfishly, I'm gonna look. Nope, <laughs> not quite. So I will have to re-screw, re-drill some holes. That's fine, I expected to. Seems robust. These, which is important. The other ones, you know, they didn't always seem flabby, but they did eventually seem flabby. This doesn't seem on the flabby side at all. Last but not least, and this may be like the goofiest thing I asked for. I asked for the locks. I asked for the locks for the hangers for no reason at all or the, other than I, I, I have anxiety. <laughs> I have anxiety. So uh, let's see if I can get this guy back on. Shimmera. So I have, I thought that, you know, it might be just like an extra like fail safe for falling if there was like a, if it was locked. You know, I, it's not gonna stop a thief. Like a thief is going to like rip this off, I'm sure. Just, they're gonna rip it off the wall. But that then it's just not, cause the, like, it's not gonna, now it's not gonna fall through the hole at all. Cause there's no hole. Is it genius or is it really stupid? You tell me, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'll just always have this nearby. So again, it's not a theft prevention so much as it's like a fall prevention, but um, yeah. Maybe I'll like, 
make my husband not give it to me until like five o'clock or something when I'm on deadline. Oh, what if, what if I've, if I'm on like deadline for a writing assignment, I give it to my husband. I'm like, not until give him the key. I'm on deadline. <laughs> you have the key. Do not let me dick around with guitars until I've turned in my writing assignment. <laughs> Imagine. Oh my God. Oh, the fights, the fights that would ensue. Yeah, so I'm basically gonna, this is my weekend's gonna look like uh, is uh, taking the pedals off the shelves, moving the amps back, moving the guitars off, um, and moving the guitars off the wall, onto a bed, and um, redrilling, un unscrewing these cheapo stands, uh, wall hangers, re returning them to hell, and um, then uh, upgrading. And then I'll tell you all what I thought about and what, what I think about them. I am really excited. I expect nothing but good things, honestly. I've heard nothing but good things about the stands, especially in the hangers. So yeah, stay tuned for um, the rest of the video. We'll see, maybe there'll be a time lapse in there. Maybe there'll be some like, me crying into the camera, who knows? Hopefully no, no tears. Um, I've done this before. I didn't cry when the guitars fell off the wall. Hopefully I won't cry remounting them. <laughs> no promises. fast. I'm, uh, I'm getting pretty good at this thing. Uh, so installing the Hercules hangers was super easy, especially with, with a little help from my assistant who uh, did not want to be on camera, but he was only on camera for 36 seconds. So I think he felt a little bit better about that. Um, sorry, Rick, but also thank you, Rick. Um, as you can see, I have them all in, in view here. And I did put my little locks on them so they can't fall out. Uh, I'm going to take you around the room in a second and then I'm going to give my final thoughts on on the hangers. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, but I first want to show you something. Um, let me grab it really quickly. Magic is about to happen. So again, this is like the culprit, this is like the, the hanger that, that broke. Just like the hanger that broke. So, um, like the Hercules hangers, the guitar goes in, the arms close. There's some space, not a lot, but something that I want you to notice is that the arms, they're pretty loose. There's a lot of very easily, like just barely any wiggling happening there. Tension, just, fading out. So it's pretty easy to um, just kind of fall apart here. Um, so just remember that when I'm showing you the Hercules hangers, all right? That's how I feel about that. All right, I'll be back in a second. So here's a look, a close-up look of the hanger. As you can see, I still have a little bit of drywall dust on them. Sorry about that but uh, I have the lock on it. Let's go ahead and unlock this one. Comes right off, one-handed. And I can take uh, the guitar down pretty easily. Not too much extra work. So you saw in the previous part of the video how flimsy the arms were on the other one. And these don't have that problem at all. Not at all. So if this were to go sideways, I don't foresee it coming down. And this is one of my most beloved guitars. Yeah, I feel really, really secure about it. 
I every all four of them went in. I think they look really nice. I went with that kind of glossy black. I thought it matched my overall aesthetic. And then I have the mandolin. Oop, showed you too much of my closet. Uh, the mandolin hanger over there. Yeah, pretty simple. Really easy to install. All right, so my final thoughts on the Hercules hangers. Installing them was super easy. Uh, the screws were actually the same size as the previous hangers, um, but the distance was different. So I only had to drill. <laughs> I only had to drill one new screw each, um, one new hole each. So I basically what I did was I kept the same bottom screw and I drilled a new top screw just to maintain the distance. Um, as you could see, I had plenty of clearance for my pedal shelves, which is awesome. I'm really happy about that I didn't want to have to lose did not want to have to lose the pedal shelves it's pretty essential um, but for my my storage solution my aesthetic it just is what I wanted I was really really worried about that you can see I haven't installed have not installed the long arms yet I definitely want to do that I just have been really <laughs> this was already kind of a lot to do today I was really kind of tired I didn't really want to do everything at once and um, I really need to think about it because I have to think about whether or not I want to cover up all of that wall. Like, let's, let's take a look. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't really know if I want to... So that's a maybe. There are other places I could put them. I have uh, some space over here. That's a maybe. So, you know, I'm glad I got those. I wasn't sure um, if I was going to use them just in general. Um, I still might. They're really, really neat. I might put them on the other wall. I actually do have a whole other wall of this office that's not being utilized. Uh, so that's probable. They're really super cool. I know Ryan Burke from Six Cycle Hum is using them right now. So I'm really jealous about that. Uh, it's just a matter of can I, would it make sense for me? I really want to get as many guitars off the floor as possible. But it's just a matter of clutter and, and blocking the guitar pedals. This is a kind of a nice shelf. And, and my husband was like, do you want to block do you want to block prints? I'm like, no, I don't want to block prints. Don't want to block prints. So let me know in the comments what I should do with those long arm hangers. Should I block the, the pedal shelf a little bit? Should I um, double up on this wall a little bit? Should I find a new place for them? Maybe put them on my, my shiplap wall, which you all have never seen. And probably never will. It's there's a reason this is the one part of the office that you all do see. It's the part that looks nice. <laughs> all right. Well, again, huge thanks to Hercules for being so generous on saving saving me. I feel a lot a lot safer with my guitars being in your hands. Um, these hangers are already. I'm going to sleep a lot better at night tonight. <laughs> Just knowing. Um, I think the locks is probably just kind of a funny thing that I'm doing, but uh, you know, I dig it. I think it's going to be safer. Uh, I think it's going to be more effective. Um, a more effective solution for just making sure nothing ever falls out. So yeah, you know, I'm going to do this just to freak everybody out. I feel fine. I'm not worried. Are you? Are you worried? <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Please like, comment, subscribe below. Check us out at patreon.com slash get offset. Uh, if, if you subscribe at, at least $5 a month, you get access to our secret slash private discord server. Lots of fun stuff going on in there. You get early access to videos like this one. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.